Alright guys, welcome to your 10th biology video and in this video what I want to do is I kind of want to explain to you guys why you need carbohydrates in your body because I was actually watching in the last couple of videos that I uploaded and I talked a lot about uh, different types of carbohydrates in the chemistry and how they're bonded together but still I didn't really explain why you need to eat carbohydrates or why you need to eat food that have carbohydrates and why they are important in biology so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a step back and give you guys a big overview and hopefully this will explain to you guys why they are important and why we're studying them so what happens is whenever you eat food food has a lot of carbohydrates and they usually have a lot of um, polysaccharides which are pretty much large uh, chains of monosaccharides or large carbohydrates so let me just pretend that these are monosaccharides so you pretty much have a big chain of those strung together and that's what happens whenever you eat I don't know a piece of bread or something so then you eat the piece of bread you eat the food it goes in your stomach and now inside your stomach you have these large carbohydrates so what does your body do with that well what your body and your stomach starts doing is it starts breaking these apart or breaking this large carbohydrate apart into these smaller carbohydrates such as glucose now why does it do that well your body can't really use that or your cells can't really use that in any real uh, you know particular kind of way so what they need to do is they need to break it down into something called glucose because glucose is a lot more useful in your body than these large strings of polysaccharides so what happens is the glucose which is these little things right here they get absorbed into your bloodstream and they start pumping to all the different cells in your body so just remember that cells really love this glucose because it's super useful they use it for energy and other stuff and cells in your body can't really use these really big polysaccharides not they can't really use any really big uh, carbohydrates because they're just not useful so then what happens is your cells and I'll pretend that's a cell right here has all this glucose floating around it and it could use this as a source of energy and we'll talk specifically about how cells can convert glucose to energy later on but just remember that that cells use glucose as a form of energy so an interesting uh, fact other than this is they also use it for the carbon molecules that are inside but basically what your body starts to do whenever it breaks all those complex carbohydrates up into glucose is that it uses it for energy but of course your body just doesn't I don't know it's not like putting a bunch of fuel on a fire and watching it blow up your body just doesn't use all of the energy at once it needs to store it so then it can use it over time if it just used it all at once then your body would need to be basically constantly eating all the time and you obviously know that that's not the fact so what your body does is it uses all the glucose that it needs and whatever glucose it has left over it stores in a polysaccharide called glycogen so say that this is a glucose this is a glucose this is a glucose whenever you know your body needs to store energy it stores it in a polysaccharide called glycogen so glycogen is pretty much glucose that your body put in a polysaccharide because it doesn't need the glucose yet it just needs to use it later on so this is how it stores it so then whenever your cells need energy later on like okay now I need energy again because I don't know maybe he's buck maybe Bucky's exercising walking his dog we're gonna need some energy here what it does is it breaks down this glycogen into individual glucose molecules and that way it could break it up and use the glucose as energy so basically that's what happens and I'm gonna to explain to you guys one more time whenever you eat food food has large carbohydrates that your body breaks up into smaller carbohydrates specifically glucose is what we're talking about in this tutorial now your body needs glucose in the cells because it uses it for energy and we're gonna talk about how cells um, turn glucose into energy later on but just remember that cells love glucose because then that way they can use energy and also the carbon in glucose and whenever your cells have all the energy they need for now they don't want to get rid of that extra glucose so what they do is they store it 
in a polysaccharide called glycogen. That way your cells can use, whenever they need glucose, they can break this up and use it later on. So uh, another, the last thing I'm going to throw at you guys before, you know, I pump your guys' brain full of too much information is plants. They actually store these glucose molecules in something called starch. So remember, uh, humans store it as glycogen, plants store it as starch. And if I ever uh, say like whenever you eat bread, you eat starch, that's kind of correct. But later in your body, it's going to be converted to glycogen. But anyways, um, that's all the info I have for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next tutorial, I promise we're going to be done talking about sugars. So thank you, and I'll see you then.